together. And guess what? The best ideas that I've ever had came in a place of deep focus. Good morning. This is Catalan, of course. I'm just waiting for um, for a car to get me to the office, and um, we'll uh, we'll get there and start working, start cranking up client work and masterminding and all these things. The really important topic that not a lot of not enough people talk about, and that is self-esteem. If you understand that having self-esteem is one of the most important things that you can ever have and that allows you to go do stuff, to be able to fail and still get up, and all these things. It's so unimaginable how people can, uh, cannot have that level of self-esteem and still go through life, you know? So, I think self-esteem is one of the most important things you can have, even if it's a little bit del delusional, because you know these people like, they think they're at this level, but they're really at this level. I think even that is better that rather than ha not having any self-esteem at all. The way I think about building self-esteem is if I want somebody else to build that, um, I would do one of two things. One is get some sort of situational confidence into a core confidence. So here's what I mean. You probably have some sort of um, like situational confidence. You may be really good at bowling or at football, whatever it is, and when you're doing that, you have really massive confidence in that. So try to take that confidence and put it into your, your core life, because what you need is core confidence. Number two, implement small wins in your life. Okay, so here's what I mean by that. If you wanna build confidence, you gotta give yourself enough tasks that are hard enough so that you challenge yourself, but not hard but not too hard so that you fail and do not build any self-esteem on them. So I would do one of I would do those two things and you would see your self-esteem grows up. Number three, this is what I do a lot, is I have a lot of routines that I just keep with myself. And those routines allow my psychic, allow my mind to always start and end at the same place. So for example, all my um, night routines are cold shower, journaling, and then sleep, okay? That's what I do. And because I have that schedule and because I've been through so many things and still have done my cold shower, my brain is literally like, okay, when he says he wants to do something, he does it. And then your level of self-esteem goes up. So one, take situational confidence into core confidence. Number two, um, small tasks and win. And number three, have routines in your life because those will prove to yourself that when you say something, you do it. And that gives you confidence to trust yourself, which is really, really good uh, to your self-confidence and self-esteem. All right, so let's continue with the day, and we'll talk soon. The way I kind of managed to get so much work done, I mean, I can even show you, like, let me just show you right now my calendar for the last week. So there's a lot of events there, right? And the way I can even handle having that many events there <clears throat> is I developed this, this deep focus mindset. It works as follows. I never keep things in my mind, okay? When I have an idea, I just pick up my phone and just note it down in notes. I, I use an app called Clear. Is that app, app right there? Is that app right there called Clear? Okay. Um, so I use that. I just take notes down. Um, or I just put it in my calendar. So this way, I, I hold nothing in my mind. So when I go into an event or a meeting or whatever it is, I can actually be 100% there. And that's really, really interesting because I can give 100% to every single meeting and most of the things will get done with me in 30 minutes rather than other people doing them in three hours. So that's tip number one. I never keep things in my head, okay? When I'm doing something, if I have two hours right now 
to think through um, a strategy for a client or whatever it is or a proposal I'm doing or something else I'm never going to think about anything else in that time only that and by doing this by making this exercise by not having anything in your mind you develop and I developed um, a deep focus which allows me to do that okay um, and it allows me to finish a lot faster and guess what the best ideas that I've ever had came in a place of deep focus okay. tip number two is when I'm doing something it's the only thing that really bothers me is sound okay I'm not really bothered by visual things I'm not really bothered by anything else I'm really bothered by sound so what I do is I have these things there are some headsets that I I put in my ears and um, they just block out all the sound but if I cannot have my headsets with me um, I just make an environment that allows me to do that if you want to really develop focus you got to take out the sound and the distractions okay and that, that needs discipline like there's no way other to do that other than building discipline and on um, not having things in your mind you know um, note them down schedule it out put it in an idea notepad in, in notes whatever it is just don't have it in your head okay people do not possibly cannot possibly understand and know and, and remember all the things that they that they have to do or that they need to do take notes that's a lot better this is a great book start with why I've read this book probably like three years ago I believe two years ago or something like that it was an incredible book um, I just love that it, it just gave me like a whole meaning of understanding of my marketing skills that book is talking about start with why is your um, uh, you're essentially not selling the product the product is really competitive you know if I sell water you sell water everybody sells water it's the same water you know it's a competitive thing but if you sell people on a mission if you sell people on a vision that's authentic then you've got something really interesting so check it out I just took a break uh, from work just to see that my journals have arrived Whenever I come to the US, I order some of these because I love them. They're great journals. Check it out. These are like beautiful. Like these journals, uh, these are the ones I use for, uh, for my own journaling. And they're just beautiful. Like check them out. Let's see. You know, they're just beautiful. Like I, and I also got this, which is really cool. This is a book sign. And it says, we are stardust ma made to shine, meant to shine. That's beautiful. Um, and the reason I get these specifically, specifically and pay uh, $20 for a journal is uh, because I want to be able to have in my library, to have them lined up in a way that makes sense uh, and to have them lined up um, like all of them because I've been journeying for the last two and a half years maybe and it really gets interesting as the time passes to like go back two and a half years and see what you wrote back then but that's um, and the abrupt ending of the vlog <sighs> what would someone describe your working style crazy uh, what would you do when you when you aren't working working what else do you want to tell me about Increase Media? 